Greetings everyone, welcome back to Don and Dreams. It is your lady Miss Z, aka Osun Fumilayo Apweke. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. If you would, please make sure that you like and subscribe and comment down below which one you chose. I love to read the comments. Um, just a few quick announcements. If you need to book a reading, always go to donanddreams.com. Um, I know you guys haven't seen me. Well, I'm, I'm kind of in and out, you know, on YouTube. And it's just because I have been doing bookings and other things behind the scenes. But the good news is I do have a small shop update that happened today. So if you get on there today, you'll see some new items. And a lot of these items are custom made. Really, everything is. So um, if you're looking for indigenous products, please go to my website. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? And everything is really... Um, one of a kind too i want to point that out as well um we do have some bone necklaces in if you are interested in that they're really really good for helping you if you get drained during readings for my readers and my healers um, they also can do daily protection but they're really exclusively for those type of things as well too so if you're interested in that get that and i'm also going to be adding a few more things you know within the the next few days so um, again, dotandreams.com to go check that out. And I think that's about it with the announcements. This is just going to be a quick check-in on what you need to know right now. So let's jump right into that. Um, these are your starting piles. This is pile one, pile two, or pile three. And as you can see, you know, you're choosing from a deck this time. So you choose whatever deck you are drawn to right now. Um, this is the Manziel Tarot. This is of course spirits of the north this is my deck um and this is words from Orun. this is also one of my decks that is out of stock right now i don't know if i'll be bringing this back but yes <laughs> and shout out to everybody that um got spirits of the north on the revamp of this deck as well too when i put it back out so um and i think i have a few more left if you're interested in this it is 100 percent handmade <clears throat> down to the images so yeah all right so if you need more time please pause the video but we're going to get into what is it that you need to know right now all right okay so for those of you who chose pile one this is your pile so let's get into what is it that you need to know right now from your spirit guides your ancestors with you picking this deck this is my money deck right here it's really good on um talking about money concerning money those type of things so let me okay so spirit is saying that you're going to start getting in control of things okay because i'm seeing things being organized in your life and like i said this is like my money deck so it means that you know there are some concerns surrounding your finances or structure in your life so we're only going to get a few cards from here because this is just the starting deck and we'll go into some other cards in a second. So let's see what came out. <clears throat> so some of you are like, I'm just going to say how it is. Some of you may be working yourselves to death. Um, it's like, you know, one minute you don't have any money, next minute you're trying to save the money that you got. And then also, it's like running yourself in a circle, you know, of running into money and running out of money. Um, so there needs to be some, a different level of planning when it comes to your finances, okay? And the things that you're working for. So this year is just starting, you know, I'm not sure when you'll see this video. But right now the year is just starting so this is a good time to plan and anytime you watch this video it's a good time to plan for what you want your future to be because this tells me that you could be very very successful and this also represents that you could have many streams of income if you choose to okay you're not limited to one stream of income um, I see that you may need some passive income because again there's a lot of hard work going into the things that you're doing and it's like as much as you want to hold on to money, bills and other things come in to take your money. So it's like you always have to have money coming in at any given time. 
You know, you really can't sit on money. I feel like in the past we had those theories of where we could just save money. But you're not saving money unless you're earning money. So it's like you're going to have to figure out um, a good stream of income that's just always coming. So they're talking about a new level of manifestation. Some of you are going to get into some creation. Mm. I get the energy that some of you are going to collaborate too. Collaborate and come up with some ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, this is interesting because it's always, you know, the same thing with, with a lot of things uh, that I do. Um, when I'm trying to focus on other stuff, it's like spirituality will still jump through, okay? Because they're speaking on a calling that you're not answering. Now, this doesn't have to be spiritual. I'm going to speak on it from both senses uh, for everybody. You know, the first way, because I see an ancestor that's being ignored, a spiritual ancestor. So there, that means that there's some things that need to be passed down to you. Um, and this can be used as a resource. And this ancestor is really speaking about this. Like, you know, I've been telling this person for a minute that they have a calling and they're not paying attention to it due to shyness. So this leads you to jobs and other things that, you know, you may not want to do, but you're having to do because, you know, of financial things. Okay. So it's like, if you want to, you know, go above and beyond with income, you may need to look into your gifts, okay? Now, this is, again, it's not just spiritual. If you have another gift that was passed down through the family, you know, like music or something like that, whatever it is, art, whatever, you know, spirit is speaking about this. Specifically, your ancestors, they're speaking about this. Like, you know, I've been trying to tell this person for a while that they need to answer this calling. Stop being shy, answer that calling because this can manifest a lot more income than what you're getting or what's being given to you, especially if you're working a nine to five. For others, this is going to be picking up a new gift, okay? So this means that you need to be at attention with your ancestors, maybe meditate, ask for downloads. What is it more that you could be doing to create this passive income that you need or income that doesn't cause you as much stress? Okay, where you're running out of money, you know, you're constantly running out of money. So you're going to be working on your foundation a lot um, in these upcoming months. Mm. I'm saying also that you need to um, work on emotional investment. A lot of times we emotionally spend and they're saying you need to try to refrain from that. Always make sure that you're making clear investments in things. Okay. Because a lot of things will like. Oh, this is the only time that you'll be able to get it. And yes, that may be the case, but sometimes you can just wait and you'll get something better. So try to um, uh, f refrain from emotional spending. It seems like you may need to separate yourself so that you can have a clear head. What else is going on? What else does Spirit want to tell you? Before we move on to the next pile. Yeah, there's this energy for some of you. It's like you haven't been able to have a lot of fun. You haven't been able to do everything because of the turmoil. Because of, you know, again, it goes back to money. It also goes back to feeling like you don't have a lot to do a lot. So spirit is saying that don't let this get you down. You will have a lot of adventures. And I'm seeing maybe within about four months, you might be planning for something. And you could be planning for it today, but it's probably going to happen in about four months where you're actually able to, you know, take a vacation or something like that. Something big. And this is the time to plan for that, okay? Because it's not going to be this way forever. And sometimes you just have to be willing. Look, accomplishment is going to happen. Um, sometimes you just really need to be ready to take the risk. You don't have to have a lot of money all the time to do something. You know, you just don't. You know, we say that we do, but we really don't. You know, we just have to compromise on certain things. And it might be better if you can find a way where you're not spending so much money. Okay? Yeah, I see responsibilities weighing you down. There needs to be some relaxation. Okay? Some relaxation. I also see you need to find a hobby or something that you're interested in. Wealth is coming. That's what Spirit is saying. Wealth is coming. Like this pile is really, it's like wealth, 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 money, money, money. So there's a constant concern, but it's going to get, you know, to where it needs to be. Okay. Mm. Whew, 
Okay, so the last thing I want to mention is friendships, okay? Let me see where they're going with this. So there's there's an energy of where maybe you haven't had a lot of time to spend with people. It seems like you've just been exploring your own life. And right now, I think it's, look, I was going to say, I think it's best that you don't, you know, have people around you because I see crocodiles here and it's clarified by more crocodiles. So this is like, you know, just, a, it's not necessarily, well, it could be, it could be considered a warning, just kind of like, you know, just enjoy being free right now because sometimes friends are responsibility, uh, are responsibility, just like our family, you know, they can be a responsibility people that you can't get away from are always in your business and things like that you don't need to tell them your financial situation um all all that's going on with you because some people prey on that okay yeah hyena so there's always it's always somebody wanting to know what's going on with you so they can put themselves ahead of you in their mind okay because they're not going to tell you what's going on with them they're not going to tell you that they got problems just like you so um Honestly, you know, it's like fake it till you make it. And sometimes you you are making it. It's just you need to start speaking that to other people. Don't let people, um, how do I say that? Don't put yourself down in front of other people just because you're comfortable around them. Because again, while they're saying, oh, I understand, really, they're like, yes, I'm in a better position than this person. And they're still projecting that reality to you. And they say you don't see the value in what you have as a person. So it's time for you to start looking at that. And again, I see some traveling coming. So, yeah, that is pile one. Let's go on to pile number two. All right. So for those of you who chose the sacred spirit of the north, you have good taste. Um, let's get into these messages. All right. So with you picking spirits of the north, um... Of course, I know that you want to be in alignment with your spirit team, your ancestors, nature. Mm. I'm even hearing some of you getting readings. what the ancestors have to say to you okay okay so this is interesting these cards are still coming out okay yeah. so you are highly protected okay you're very highly protected there are some ancestors that have been watching over you for a while so it's like you're you're good on the protection um it seems like there's either some ancestors that i, I don't know i'll just put it like it is you know, there's either some ancestors that you still need to figure out who they are. Or it is the fact that, you know, there are some ancestors there that need to be, you know, their voices need to be heard on certain issues or certain situations. Because it seems like, you know, I get this energy of like you being very busy with spiritual work. But at the same time, there's still some ancestors that need to be heard. So it's kind of confusing to me. It's like a contradiction. It's like you're doing the spiritual work, but then there's still this ancestor that's like, you know, when are you coming to talk to me? So I think a lot of you may need to <clears throat> get more comfortable with talking to your ancestors in the dream realm and in other forms. Because, okay, so there's another message here too. If you have, you know, and you don't have to. But for some of you who have like spiritual businesses and things like that, I'm saying that they're supposed to be teaching you some new things, some new elements to your business. So this is a part of the reason why they need to be heard on certain issues or certain things that you got going on. 
they're behind you because it's clear you know with this card here and then this card following it's like we're behind you you know as you're following your journey you're following your dreams and things like that um it's like you but they still need to be heard in certain ways and then you have this which puts this into perspective the dance ritual we go into trance feel spirit express ourselves through motion fast movement and meditation so um okay so with this card it's basically saying that it's time for you to figure out a way or just get in the um yeah there's okay <laughs> there's a bird soaring um overhead so yeah this tells me that yeah you have a big big spiritual journey that you're following now again back to what i was saying meditation some of you need to get used to meditation or performing dance rituals where you can go into a meditative state and really hear your ancestors fluidly, okay? Fluidly. Because this can happen, you know? Um, I'm not saying that they're going to come to you every single night, you know, or every single vision, but it seems like there's a level of initiation that needs to go ahead and happen for you so they can pass wisdom on to you because you're not just going to receive it from books, Right now, everything for you and spirituality is going to be very hands-on. Yes, you still will be reading. You still will be educating yourself in little ways. But there's just a certain level of spirituality that you just have to be there with the spirits one-on-one. -on -one, okay? So I see that this is that time. So there's nothing wrong with what you've been doing. They're, they're not saying that you're not connected to them. I don't want people to get me misconstrued. It's not that. It's just that I think that they need to put it into perspective for you. It's time for you to level up with your spiritual gifts. They want you to get used to the fact that you can literally, you know, um, get to a point where you're not working for anybody. You're working for yourself. And if you're already doing this, they want you to get used to this idea. Because some of you are still not used to a reality of like, you know, your, your spirituality or whatever it is that you're doing can maintain you. Okay? They want you to get comfortable. Like, it's, it's like they can make miracles happen. When you're working with spirit, miracles can happen. So it's like whatever this is, it's like get comfortable with where you are. Get comfortable with knowing that you have the freedom in your life. A lot of your ancestors weren't free to do what they wanted to do. So if they're saying that, hey, you have this freedom now. Get used to it. Get used to this new reality. They have much more to show you. Hmm. I see a lot of people kind of like jealous of the fact that you get to sit in the same room and it's not for doing the same thing, okay? As you can see, the heron with the wildebeest, it's like, um, so let's say for instance, everybody else got to this seat at the table because they know somebody, they're a celebrity, they're this, they're that. You may have came up from the ground up doing whatever it is that you do or an unconventional job. It doesn't have to be spirituality, but I'm going to use that for an example. You may be brought to the celebrity table or, you know, the round table of stars just by you doing that and your work with the community. So it's like spirit wants you to get used to that idea that you can be famous and you can be somebody big with just doing what you're doing or being who you are. Don't feel like you have to go back and do this or that. There's nothing wrong with college. There's nothing wrong with any of those things. If that's what you've done or that's what you're doing. Nothing wrong with it. But I just want to put that out there for those of you who didn't take that route. Or if you changed routes along the way. It's okay. Spirit saying as long as you're going with what they're telling you. You're going to be somebody big and bright anyway. Nobody's going to steal, steal your thunder just because you chose to do it a different way. Because everybody's calling is not the same. Yeah, that's why they keep giving me the zebra or the and the giraffe standing out amongst the zebra. Like you have a divine purpose that a lot of people are not gonna like. 
They're like, how do you get this much money, you know? And it could be from YouTube. It's like, how did you, you know, we're working, you know, for years we have this big corporation. We did this. We did real estate. Whatever it was, we did all that. And you here and because you did this, this, and this. And it's just like very unconventional. So it's like, it's okay. Get used to that. They want you to remember that you are of great value. And as long as you answer your calling for what's for you, nothing can, you know, stop you. Nothing can stop you. I'm seeing you guys are very, very wise. Very wise. But again, I think that when it comes to being under someone or taking courses and things like that, you may be a little bit hesitant to do that right now. And this is the reason because spirit wants you to be so in sync with them that you can literally take lessons from the animals outside. I had to do that, you know. Um, most people who are connected to the land and things like that have to just go outside, be in nature. I bet you'll know the animals more than a person who says they do <laughs> because you're out there with them. You're out there with them every day, seeing them interact with each other. You learn the stories by being there. So spirit wants you to be present more than you are reading this, that, the third. And I see the book mind. So it's like, you know, you may be used to reading and this, that, the third. And there's nothing wrong with that because they're saying that you're very, very smart. You're very intelligent. You can take information and make it work. But this time it's going to be very, very spiritual. Very hands-on. Look, responsibility for your personal spiritual development and sacrifices. So they're saying, you know, we're going to give you the tools and we're going to see what you do with them. Okay. So let's go on to pal number three. All right. Pal number three. Let's see what is it that you need to know right now. So you like the blunt and raw truth. That's what this, uh, <laughs> this deck typically gives. You like the, uh, the raw truth. All right, so let's get into this. See, what is it that you need to know? So whatever comes out tells me that it's going to be something that you need to hear and that, you know, you don't need to turn away from, okay? Because this is the deck that you chose. Okay. Let's get two more cards on that. All right, and that's exactly what it is because you have don't be in denial, don't be in denial. Okay. Okay. So with the abuse and follow your intuition, this means that in certain ways, you know, abuse has happened to you. Rather, it's you getting taken advantage, taken advantage of. Taken advantage of. Excuse me. And another form, we all know the forms of abuse. I'm not going to get too deep into it. But we know the forms of the abuse, rather. Hopefully not, but can happen physical abuse we know that um, mental abuse is a strong one you know and we also know that just the forms of again taking advantage of someone because they can't speak up or because you know you have a relationship with them so you allow them to take advantage of a situation or this or that the third even sometimes elders can do this to to the youth and it shouldn't be looked at like that in certain ways but there is a point where it's like okay you know you could ask anybody else for help and I'm the only one you know and it, it's really taxing on your energy so this is about basically you following your intuition at this point and not being in denial about it okay because for a long time they're showing me that it's it's been a point where you were like okay Am I really getting taken advantage of? Is this right or is this wrong? So you go back and forth in your head, very indecisive about what abuse can be. So they want you to just be in truth about things. So that way you know how to move, you know, at this point in your life. So you're not being taken advantage of. So you won't let people walk all over you and you're still cool with them right after. They want you to correct that. Because it's detrimental to your energy and your space. This is why you're having to constantly cleanse yourself. 
or you feel like there's this heavy weight on your shoulders. A lot of times our shoulders will hurt, our back will hurt. You know, spirit shows us in weird ways that, you know, there's too much on you. Hell, there's financial abuse. There's all types of abuse out there. They're saying that you, whatever abuse this is for you, you need to face it head on so that it doesn't happen. Um, like I said, this is, we're in the new year, but whenever you watch this, but right now, going into the new year, you start fresh. You decide where, where you're going to put energy and where you're going to give it. Mm. They say you haven't been asking for help on certain situations either. Like you'll ask for help on maybe money or something like that. But when it comes to abuse, they're saying that you need to start putting in a spiritual request to get rid of the chaos. Okay. And I see that this may not be a one-time thing. So don't expect you put in a candle request and it's like, okay, I'm going to wipe out years of abuse you know um from whatever type of person now if it's something serious of course your ancestors will step in for that but i'm speaking on if it's like family members or like a complicated situation it may take a while because some people are just set up the way that they are and what the ancestors are going to do is protect you from being in those environments or that situation even taking place meaning if somebody needs you they may make it to where they no longer need you or they are relying on somebody else's energy instead, you know, however it falls. But they're saying that you need to start putting in spiritual requests. You need to start speaking up about this, you know, um, so that they can make moves in your life. Don't just expect for things to change. Okay. You got to put your spiritual willpower, your spiritual team behind things. <clears throat> for them to intervene. Yeah, you got light a candle. Mm -hmm. Protect your foundation doors and opportunity. There's been some opportunities that have been, it seemed like they slipped from your hands. Um, this is due to some negative energy. Because so they're saying protect your foundation. So it's not like the whole foundation has been taken from you, but it feels like some doors or opportunities, money opportunities, something like that, or something not coming in the way that it should. Clear this up. Clear this up with some candle work or some magic. So that way things are stable again. Because I'm also getting the energy that if you have a business or if you have something that somebody else is doing the same thing, they're taking energy from you. I don't know how to explain that, but it just feels like somebody else is trying to um, take energy from what you're doing. Now, you have what you desire is in alignment at this time, but it's in reverse, so they don't want you to believe that. You can get what you desire. You need to put in the spiritual request. You need to petition for these things. A candle don't cost nothing but a dollar, so, you know, no excuses on why you can't put this request in. Look, consistent rituals fell on my lap. Like, just be consistent with the things that you want so the universe can start transforming that energy. Fire uh, brings things a lot quicker. Okay, so yeah, put some fire behind that. Mm. Okay, what's being avoided? Collaboration. <sighs> and this is probably a good thing though. This is probably a good thing just because like I said, with the abuse card, yeah, they're saying be mindful of your health. There's some people that may try to collaborate with you um, in just different ways. Relax. Yeah, they're, it's like you need to start looking out for you right now. Look out for yourself. Um, find some time to focus on you because altar maintenance is in the reverse like you haven't had time to focus on you and what's good for you so now I'm going to get a little bit more What else do you need to know at this time? Okay, so there's a message. If you are in a relationship, there's somebody that's trying to kind of, uh, I don't want to say get in the middle because it goes two ways. There's somebody that's trying to get in the middle, but there's also, like I said, it could be a family member too that's like, you know, always calling on your energy or doesn't really respect the relationship like that. 
it's not that they don't like the person it could be but it doesn't have to be it could just be that they want you all to themselves so let's say you have you know we, we call it the mama's boy or you know whoever um they could be using all of that person's energy because they're not used to being on their own or they're used to using that person's energy sons or daughters doesn't matter right but it's like they, they're used to using your energy rather it's you or your partner's energy so this is where it's like you need to not be in denial about it and figure it out you know get some work done on this ask the ancestors hey this person is is trying to because I see this being a problem in your relationship I see this causing arguments in your relationship to where things may uh, I'm not gonna say they're gonna split up but distance is gonna be created and there shouldn't be because other people should know their boundaries and their roles that they're playing mm. um, they show lack of confidence too so it, it seems like you need to do like you know go on a little bit of a shopping spree you need to treat yourself a little bit more you need to treat yourself a little bit more okay uh, because they're saying that there's a need to get back to yourself. Especially if you've had, you know, kids and you've given most of your, your life away. That's it, it feels like that. You give a piece of yourself. Um, even to a relationship. If you've been in an abusive relationship, this is speaking on that too. You need to start giving energy back to yourself. If you've been in um, a time period where you were unhappy for, you know, a year or months. They want you to do something to where you are giving energy back to yourself. So you want to go on a shopping spree or treat yourself on a spa day or something to that effect. So that way you can feel whole again. And that's not going to just do it. Of course, you have to do the spiritual work and uh, the mental healing as well, too. But they want you to do something for yourself, just for you. Okay, treat yourself to a day out, you know. Sometimes, even if you don't have anywhere to go, putting on some clothes will <laughs> make you feel 10 times better. So doing your hair, whatever, this is male or female, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can put on something, go to the bar, whatever. They just want you to start gaining your confidence back because there's something about your confidence being um, kind of, I don't want to say destroyed, but it's like there's things that have lowered your confidence over time. Spirits also speaking on some new connections that are going to be made throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just speaks on you being of value and you also knowing how to protect yourself. They say you don't want to do it, but you got to do it. That's what this uh, the crested rat, rep the crested rat represents, you know. It cooks itself in the poison. It's like I got to do this to protect myself. So you need to do the same thing. You know, sometimes we don't want to fight evil with evil. And a lot of times you don't have to, but it's, it's a thing called saying no. And it's a thing called reserving your energy. So definitely get into that. All right, guys. So that is the reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below which one you chose. And peace.